Hi, I'm Stephanie Mosca with TMC. We're here at CompTEL in Las Vegas, and I'm here with Anthony Perlman, president of Inch House. How are you today, Anthony? Very good. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. If you wouldn't mind just telling us a little bit about who Inch House is. Sure. Uh, Inch House is a publicly traded company in Canada. We're a software company. Been around about uh, 27 years. Uh, our focus, uh, we have two uh, primary divisions, one that's focused uh, in the telco space and one in the contact center and IVR space. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about the acquisition that I know you guys have had recently? Sure. Uh, a company called Pulse Networks uh, was a recent acquisition for us, has very strategic to our telecom, our telecom offerings, and uh, it's one of the reasons I'm, I'm here at this show is really to support Pulse Networks. Great. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, what this is, what this means for Pulse Networks merging together with Engels? Well, you know, Pulse Networks uh, has been an established company for about 15 years and quite successful. I think the change for Pulse Networks in being part of now uh, the Engels Group is that it has more abilities by being able to address the market from the enterprise level all the way down to the smaller one-off type solutions. Great. Um, how about your involvement at Comtel this week? You know, you know, Comtel is we find to be a very really productive show for us. I think the spirit of uh, dealing with uh, the competitive landscape and ensuring that it's uh, I call it even keeled uh, works with us because Pulse Networks offers a lot of I call them ROI based solutions, which deliver an immediate value on the investment to uh, to the carriers to the solution providers. That's in sync with the competitive landscape that we see CompTEL supporting. In terms of trends uh, for the industry in 2011, what do you see being the big uh, players for this year? Well, you know, I, I think I tend to have a different perspective uh, possibly than a lot of people because I've been around a long time and I come from the common sense school. What I see is I see a lot of requirements and needs being pressured on to the carriers uh, to the service providers to deliver to those existing clients new services, new offerings to support the, the new and greatest and latest devices. And, but the reality is from a business perspective that these carriers, these service providers, they've got to utilize their existing investments and in infrastructure. They got to squeeze the most they can out of what they have and they need to see ROI or return on investment out of every dollar that they spend. And that is a trend that I see that is driving business. It's driving business into looking at applications like Pulse Networks mm -hmm. that deliver those least cost routing solutions for getting the, the best value in long distance, 800 services, number portability. That's very, very key market, market trend we see. Now, Edge House has been around for many years now. How does that acquisition with Pulse Networks, how does that help to make the company more credible? Well, it's been 27 years at Edge House, and I can tell you, you know, we always try to look so smart at Edge House because, you know, Pulse was already successful, and when we took Pulse over, we immediately got some big deals that went through, or that we consider the big deals. And it wasn't because we did anything so dramatically different, it was because Eng House, the larger corporation, because we're, we're realistically a $100 million company now. We just finished our FY10, and we, we came out at about $94 million. It gives sort of a seal of credibility to Pulse Networks. It gives it that, that larger scope, that bigger foundation to work from. They were a bit of a smaller company before the acquisition. Great. What can we look forward to in terms of uh, you know, the two companies coming together for the new year? We've got some interesting stuff coming out. We're, um, I'm pleased to tell you that uh, Pulse's existing solutions uh, uh, to the carriers have, have been, I don't want to call them a one-off, but have been very, very specific to the needs of that carrier and very customized. At Enchos, we tend to deliver enterprise solutions, and that's a methodology that, that we're sort of guiding Pulse towards. One of the big changes for Pulse, though, is Pulse Networks now is offering a hosted solution. We're using a, you know, I've, because I've been around again quite a while, I've gone through the ASP days, the web services, the SOA, the SaaS, now the cloud. Well, we've taken the Pulse Network solutions and put them in the cloud to offer them as a, 
as a hosted solution, which really addresses the, the smaller marketplace, but still gives Pulse Networks the ability to scale up to tier one opportunities. Well, great. It seems like you have a pretty exciting year coming up. Yes. Thank you so much for being here today, Anthony. Thank you. Once again, this is Stephanie Mosca. I'm at Comtel with Anthony Perlman, president of Inchouse.